Hey, I hope everyone's having a great day. Today I wanted to make a video on how to scan for custom candlesticks to your liking. They could be bullish engulfing candlesticks or bearish engulfing candlesticks. They could be dojis, hammers, inverted hammers, shooting stars, you name it. So without further ado, let's get started. If you have thinkorswim, you'll notice right here on the top right corner where my mouse is, there's a button for patterns. So if you click patterns, there's gonna be a drop down menu that appears. It'll give you two options. We wanna go ahead and select the second option which is select patterns so when you click here a window appears and then when this window appears you want to go ahead and click candlestick and then at the bottom click create when you hit create another window appears and you see this candlestick with the plus sign go ahead and click on it and it's going to give you many many options uh, you can go ahead and choose a green candlestick a red candlestick a doji candlestick mixed candles ascending trend uh, descending trend um, so basically if there's a certain pattern that you like with candlesticks you can uh, theoretically create it any way you want um, and we'll get to that in a second but obviously the more complex you make it um, probably the lower results that you get so just for the purpose of this video we're gonna simplify everything and we're gonna go ahead and choose a bullish reversal uh, I found this image online this is called the Hikaki reversal I hope I didn't butcher that but it's basically where you have a uh, two green candlesticks and in between you have uh, two red candlesticks kind of kind of looks like this I'm gonna modify it just a bit um, but uh, basically uh, it's there's a, a green candlestick a pullback with two red ones and then uh, eventually you'll get that breakout um, if, uh, if if this is obviously um, done correctly so what I want to do is click here click the up candle because I want the first one to be green, the second to be red, the third to be red, and the last to be green. And so what you notice here are four options. There's the high, the close, the open, and low. Typically what you see when you're uh, day trading with any other candlesticks. And so you could click on any of these. So if I were to click here on the high, I could drag it out to any of the other candlesticks. Uh, so say if I wanted this candlestick to be higher than the second one. Um, so I just click here, let go, and I just hit greater than. And it'll draw something like this. Um, or you could even choose like the close of this candlestick. You want it to be higher than like uh, the open of this candlestick. So you get the idea. So the uh, example for the Hikaki bullish reversal, what I want to do is really put emphasis on that fourth candlestick. I really want this to be bullish. Um, so I'm going to make this the highest uh, from the prior three. So I'm going to say the close of this is going to be higher than the high of this. And then I want to do the close of this candlestick to be lower than the low of this candlestick. And then I want the high of this candlestick to be greater than the high of this candlestick. Because I'm looking for stocks where the two red candlesticks, the two red candlesticks are in between the two green ones but they're lower so this is the finished product and what I want to do is scan for this every stock that gives me something similar to this so you head over right here to the ThinkScript editor and then a coding will appear so what you want to do is highlight this entire coding and do command C uh, if, obviously if you have a Mac if, uh, if you have Windows I believe it's control C and you could save this study, but uh, all I needed was the code. So I'm just going to cancel out of it. I already have the code copied. So you head over to scan. And I'm going to delete some of this. Uh, the only thing I need is a custom study. So I'm going to go ahead and click this edit button right here. And then I'm going to head over to ThinkScript Editor. And I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to copy paste the code that I did from earlier and this appears and then you just hit OK and um, then you want to head over here and you could basically choose whatever time frame you want to your liking you know weekly monthly daily I'm gonna choose daily for this purpose and then you just hit scan and let's see what results we get alright so we have like about six results uh, let's look at stock Wow W O W So this is pretty similar to what we drew out. We have two green candlesticks and two red candlesticks in between. Uh, the last candlestick I wanted to be higher than the prior three, and then I wanted this candlestick to be higher than the, the two right here. 
And uh, also what really helps is this is a reversal study that I talked about in my earlier videos where if there's a bullish trend reversal, the study will go off and this is pretty reliable on the longer time frames and we're using the daily chart. Uh, so this is probably a, a stock that I probably want to swing trade for, for continuation. So uh, let's look at another stock. Let's look at NNN. All right. So yeah, uh, another similar thing. Two green candlestick, two red ones, just like the one we drew out. Uh, you guys are getting the idea. Uh, also, it helps validates that there's a reversal signal right here. So this is another stock that we could look for uh, continuation. So that's basically the gist of it. Uh, you guys can obviously look for so many patterns online. And again, uh, click here, select patterns, candlestick, create, and then just create everything to your liking. You know, you could uh, hit doji stick. You can choose mul uh, mixed candles um, and then you can you know, uh, customize it to the numbers that you want. You could choose a certain trend. Um, you know, the learning curve of this isn't too bad. Like once you get the hang of it, um, you could really choose what you like going forward. But uh, this is just another intuitive feature that I like about Thinkorswim. And um, it's it's really awesome with the fact that the software is free if you're just a TD Ameritrade customer. Um, but other than that, guys, um, if you do like this video, please um, like, uh, hit the like button and subscribe button. Um, and obviously, if you do that, that'll let me know that you, you guys want to see more videos like these going forward. And I'll, I'll definitely uh, put more out. But uh, other than that, uh, you guys take care and have a nice day. Bye.